Kelsey, you've been a loyal soldier for this hockey club. When your name didn't come on to the Clear Day roster, you took it as a pro, your patience paid off, and you got a chance last week to finally get into action. How did that feel? Uh, it felt good. I mean, uh, I hadn't played in about a month, leading back to the, the last weekend of the regular season. But, uh, you know, I was happy to get a chance. Uh, you know, the guys were excited to get me back in the lineup, and I just I did what I could. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm back on the outside now, but that's okay. I'll just battle and, and wait for my chance again. Great moments this season. Uh, take me back to the outdoor game in Hamilton. You get into a scuffle, but that scuffle seemed to turn you guys around in a very hostile environment at Iverwind Stadium. Yeah, we were, uh, I think they'd scored, you know, first shift of the game, Hamilton, and they had all the momentum. You know, we were playing in Hamilton, and uh, I was able to, to ask one of their guys to go, and it was a pretty spirited scrap, and I think the boys uh, got a little jump from it because we scored three goals right after. So, I mean, that's going to be something I'll always remember. You've been around this league for a little while, big hero up in Milwaukee. What do you see in this team that tells you that perhaps they've got what it's it's going to take to to go the next uh, next round and perhaps the distance? I just think we're we're so deep. You know, we got we got best the best thing I was said was we got a 21 goal scorer playing on the fourth line at the start of the playoffs. You know, he's out there running around and sacrificing his body playing a fourth line role. And I'm talking about Greg Scott, obviously. So just to show you that we got a 20 goal scorer on the fourth line to start the playoffs, it shows how deep we are. And of course, we got great goaltending and good D as well and great camaraderie. I see a lot of smiles, a lot of fun being had out there. Let's talk about the younger kids on this team, what they've brought to this club, uh, the Frattens, uh, Nazem, of course. But there seems to be a lot of talent, and it's all young. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Naz has got tremendous skill. Uh, Frats is such a powerful skater, and he's got an unbelievable shot, one of the best I've ever seen. Jake Gardner can dipsy doodle with the best, I think, and uh, you know you don't know which way he's going out there. So he's he's got great potential for the future as well. You grew up in Long Lac, Ontario, and uh, geographically, it's it's a good ways north of Sault Ste. Marie. Before your family moved to the Sioux, how's it been living in a big city like Toronto, knowing uh, your northern roots? Yeah, it's 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 a little different. I mean, I played in Milwaukee for for four years, so that was a little bit bigger of a city, but. I remember when I moved when I was 12 to the Sioux, I was I thought that was the big city. So then coming to Toronto, I mean, I've been a Leafs fan my whole life. So to be playing in Toronto for the Marlies, as soon as they'd offered me a contract last summer, I mean, I, just, I wasn't turning it down. I've, like I said, I've been a diehard Leafs fan my whole life. So I was actually honored to be coming here. So many hockey players have come out of Sioux St. Marie. Did any of those uh, become your role models as you were a young man growing up playing peewee hockey when you moved to the Sioux? Out of the Sioux, geez, I mean, uh, um, I like Marty Turco. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's had some tough goals lately, but he, he's worked so hard his, his whole career, and he's done well for himself. He's, he's made a decent living, so I've kind of kind of watched him work, you know, in the summer times when we start our, our pro skates leading into the seasons. His work ethic, you know, just kind of followed what he did. And there's another guy named Jeremy Stevenson. <clears throat> he's worked his his butt off for so many years. You know, he doesn't have much talent, and he played in the National Hockey League five, six years. And, I know the only way he got there was through hard work. As this next round comes upon the Toronto Marlies, is it going to be a fine line as the Marlies try to do what they can do with their skill, but still impose physicality and, and, and get an edge there without going to the box and, and really compromising that great penalty kill? Yeah, um, I mean, both teams are pretty well balanced next round. we got some high-powered offense on our team. So does Oklahoma City. I don't know who they're going to address for, for toughness. I mean. I don't know who we're going to address yet either, but it's going to be a physical series, it's going to be an exciting series. Um, both goaltenders have been playing awesome in the playoffs, so the goaltending battle is going to be huge as well, and uh, I'm excited to get it started.